What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Circleflex here, day 18 of the Antfan calendar, and boy, is it good. Just kidding, it sucks. <laughs> it's the same across uh, the board here. NA and Asia all have the same uh, Antfan calendar. You can buy it separately, which is a good thing. Uh, it's fairly cheap for a limited matchmaking TD. However, it just sucks. It's so bad. All right, let's take a look at the stats, okay? It's not all bad. 390 view range. Uh, really good DPM. Uh, but, and even really good dispersion. Good aiming time as well. It's all pretty dandy. But, 38 tough speed. Uh, 12 for first speed. Powered weight, really, really low. Um, and take the first, decent. They actually, I think they buffed this to be the same as a tier 9. Um, regardless, this tank is so outgrown by current matchmaking it is crazy whereas before 230 base pen and 237 on a, a turtless td would be sufficient uh back when this is introduced like five years ago uh, nowadays it isn't 203 you can barely pen an ice tree uh in the front and you have to be lucky at that because obviously we're only shooting 8.8 um which is uh, not the biggest shell the world's ever seen and if we take a look at the 3D model, it is the same as the tier 9 Yak Tiger. There's only one difference, and that is that the lower plate never got nerfed on the Yak 88 because of its premium status, probably. So the um, the upper is, you know, uh, 200-ish. There's a lot of tanks that will shoot through your front, and even your lower plate still. There's a little tidbit of armor there, not much. And even if you go hull down, it is 250. And most of you will know that uh, a lot of tier 9s and even the tier 10s have 260-ish base pen. So, yeah. And that's not even taken into account uh, premium pen for that matter. The sides, obviously, 88, 85 is not that great. The back is like 90, 80 there. Uh, gun melee is, is sturdy. And you have to basically, between every shot, you have to do this move. Uh, you know, <laughs> to get kind of the maximum armor values. But even then, you know, it's it's pretty shitty. Uh, in all honesty, what they I think they should do is give it a better power to weight. Uh, so it's more like uh, a Yak Tiger. And maybe just give it a bigger gun. <clears throat> maybe it's just time to give it a bigger gun. And if they're not going to give it a bigger gun, they have to buff the, the pen on this ammo. Because this is ridiculous. I think the base pen should be 237. And then this should be like 250 or something. Uh, the Ape Star should be like 250 or something like that. So while it has really good gun stats, the, the tank that it's on is just awful. I cannot recommend this tank whatsoever. Um, it's ultra boring to play. It's a one trick pony and the one trick that it does, it doesn't do too well. And in today's world of tanks, I think this thing is just blatantly outshined by a lot of other things. And um, even if it wasn't outmatched and outclassed, it would still be an ultra, ultra, ultra boring tank to play. And I like the Tier 9 Yak Tiger a lot. I free marked that, had a lot of fun doing it. But no, this tank cannot recommend whatsoever. So uh, this is going to be a short video. We're going to have to pass on this one. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another day at the Advent Calendar Day 19 coming up. And uh, we still need to get that Scorpion on sale for EU at least. So maybe that's up tomorrow. Who knows? Check back tomorrow. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll catch you guys later.